no connection it says no connection i love that i have to turn i'm sharing these headphones between my desktop and my phone and i'm doing it because there's construction upstairs so uh wowie so we're on hyperlens because hyperlens does not freeze with the 9070 xt yeah i set this up through the aur uh it's the whatchamacallit starter kit because it just works out of the box for me the w the ml4 w starter kit it's 136 in the aur if you're on cache os or if you have chaotic aur so that's nice that's very nice i managed to actually set up my monitors which was a miracle <laughs> and i cheated i used a gui tool to do it but it works nonetheless I also found out both of these displays are 10 bit. The more you know. Ugh. I don't know why it's watching that monitor. It should be watching this one. Yes, this is the monitor we should be watching. Not that boring ass conversation about people that don't want to buy good, you know, mice that last a while. Okay. All right. So I have a dock. It came with it. I'm very, very thankful for it. Docs are very, very useful and helpful. Um, I'm not used to actually having OBS on that side, and that's why I keep looking over there. Sorry. OBS. Ooh, I'm not going to go over the setup of this. I'm not. I'm not that guy. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm going to admit that. So we're just going to open up Steam, because I want to see if Steam opens on this, because Microsoft Edge does not. It's unfortunate. Hmm. Nice. Everything apparently needs to be updated. All right, go, go, do your thing. Now, the freezing is getting worse uh, since the 6.15 uh, kernel, and this is the second day with it, and freezing is just, it's getting worse and worse, and it's just happening for no reason whatsoever, completely unrelated. And it's bugging the crap out of me, and I hate it. I really do. I'm gonna just take you, put you up there. So, uh, being annoyed as I am, I'm like, let's try Hyperlend. And it's working. Hyperlend is functioning. It's doing its thing. It actually looks okay. Uh, it's got the blur up top that I need. Unfortunately, we can't have the blur on the dock down bottom, so that's got to stay an ugly ass color. But yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to see if we can live with this for a while. Ooh. Nice. Hmm. All right. So we're in a game. We're going to just skip everything except for this screen because we don't want to skip this screen. Um. I do want to check is this is the one thing that always made it like do its thing where it froze so now we have no picture okay, how do we capture the screen in this like I'm trying to capture dead island too and it just does not want to work okay well I guess we're just doing this uh, play the game. We're going to hope that it actually has good performance and it doesn't do anything weird. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Everything's looking pretty good. We're running in good FPS. Not any better than Gnome. Not any better than... I am not dealing with her. Not today. I'm not dealing with Screamy, screamy Pants. Hi. I'm going to go jump in the pool. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Hey, stay away. I just want to go swimming in my pool. <sighs> oh, no. He's coming after me, ain't he? Not anymore. Oh, crap. I blew off his arm. I'm going to try to blow off the other arm. There we go. I found out if you take out their arms, they die awfully quick. Yeah. Ah. So this is nice. I can't hear the gameplay or anything at all, but uh, it's it's nice. So, oh, hello, random zombie that came out of nowhere. And I like, and I just, I'm trying to get out of this window so I can 
go and figure out what's going on with the sound. Oh, I fixed it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> Uh, I believe now we all... I think it's, yeah, Windows Q to kill the thing. Uh, and now we need to go to properties and set it for the Ascentium Pluses. And... Crank the volume. They're always just... Are... Oh, no, 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 we're out. There's some zombies I just won't mess with, and that's the uh, that's the one with the tentacles, and she's always screaming at you. She's in pain. She's ripping out her own guts. It's not not something I want to deal with. So we're just gonna walk through all these. Goopy parts. And and we're probably gonna run into another one like right now, aren't we? Because usually when I try to run from a certain zombie, that zombie shows like right back up and it's a pain in the butt. I... Okay, no. I opened you. You're supposed to be open. I opened you. What? Hater. I don't know. Hyperlin seems to be doing fine. Not really having issues. This, is, this place has a lot of like geometry going on, so it's being all strange. The next area is mostly water, so it's going to be fine. There used to be a big guy standing in front of this gate. Wait, why does the door need to be... Oh, there was a lock. Okay, that explains it. Hyperland is strange. It could be usable if you have enough patience, I guess. It's just not modern in the way that it does things. and Having things become... Modern makes life easy. Where I don't have to hold the Windows key to drag a window to the next workspace or to the next monitor. And there's going to be people who's going to comment, well, it's on Hyperlink, you should only be using one monitor. I'm sorry, no. I want good proper workflow. You can go use one monitor, I'll use three. God, if I could have six, I would use six. Ooh, locker B4E key. Nice. Because I am stubborn as they could ever possibly be made. Yeah, so that's nice. Okay, we're gonna exit out of that. That worked out pretty well. I wanna see how Cider behaves uh, in uh, Try Hardland. No, you're not allowed to hear my music. Let's go to From Zero Deluxe. Oh, it's still not the main device, which means I can't hear it and you guys can't hear it. So you guys don't get to hear it anyway. I need to figure out how to do uh, configuration in advanced. No, that's latency. We are using, I'll show you what I'm using for audio, APXHD. Down here, no far below. I need to be able to change. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. But this only has latency? Ah. Apparently I can adjust the latency offset. That's cool. But I can't adjust the left and right side because I need to have it more on the left side right now because my ear is damaged. Probably need another app for that, don't I? We can up without a name. Cool. Steam works. Everything else works. 
Hyperlens definitely better when it has a dock, that's for sure. And then we got mission control here for when applications are stubborn and I need to quit them. I will need to open up DaVinci's Resolve to take a look at that. DaVinci, I need you to resolve some of my issues. I promise they're not that bad. Oh my. Here we go. Open. We're using DaVinci's Resolve Studio. Uh, DaVinci's Resolve Studio 20 at the moment. I could get used to this. This works. This functions. This does a thing. I don't mind it. Yeah. That video's out today, by the way. Uh, the one where I talk about my personal experience and issues that currently affect the 9070 XD. We already got the unboxing out of this controller, and I already have this out as well, which goes over content creation on DaVinci's Resolve and OBS Studio on the 9070 XD. I told you I'm going to make as many videos as I can about this GPU, just because, you know what, there's not really that much content out there about it. All right, so I'm going to be using Hyperlin for a while until the until Mesa managed to fix the GPU freezing. So I'll see you guys next time.